It's 4.30 in the morning and I am so tired. You will never pick me up this early unless we are going to the airport. But we're going to go. Back home, New York. <laughs> We did a ton of walking around and seeing the city. This was only my third time in New York, so a lot was brand new to me. We stopped by Washington Square, which is right next to NYU. There were tons of people hanging around, and that was the first place I noticed how different the style vibes were in New York compared to Texas. We also visited the High Line, which I absolutely loved. It was a perfect little getaway from the busy city floor. In addition to all the greenery, there were tons of places to sit down, and there were even places to grab a bite. So, of course, I snacked some coffee. Eventually, we were led to this structure. Where are we? We are at the vessel. Oh, that is new. We can't. We can't get in today, though. Sold Sadly. Out. This street in Chinatown. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty. We walked down there because we tried to get dumplings at Namwa Tea Parlor, but the wait was too long. So if you can make it down there, have a dumpling gummy. <laughs> we also stumbled upon the railroad store in Soho, which looked absolutely massive. I was just super upset because we didn't get to check it out because it was late and after hours, so it was closed. Watching the fireworks made everything worth it. Overall, this trip was a massive foodie stream. But shopping is what I was really looking forward to. I started in Manhattan and hit up the crossroads first. Overall, there were a ton of Zara, Everlane, and Topshop. My arms started to get really full. I didn't really find too many shirts, but a lot of dresses and some pants. So I started to head toward the dressing room. Here's some things I passed on due to comps. I passed on this Rachel Antonoff dress because I found out it was missing the belt. Also, the Stodd dress was the first thing I had found, but unfortunately the comps were not the best. On my way to the checkout, I picked up these Della Terra shoes. I had never heard of them before, but they looked really trendy to me, which it turns out they were a very sustainable brand and they had many articles written about them, so I scooped those up. Next, I head to Buffalo Exchange, which was right down the street. I picked up these items in the dressing room. The store did have a lot of great designer pieces that I do not come across often in Texas, so I was super happy about that. This free people dress, I have sold about three times, I think, so I was definitely getting that. Then, the Biden jacket had comps all over, but when I put it on, it felt very trendy, and I liked the look. I was also shocked when I found this suede All Saints jacket. Next are some passes I had due to comps. But I did pick up this adorable H&M sweater for myself. I almost wanted to walk out of the store in it. I thought it was so, so cute. There was a Goodwill around the corner, so I went there next. It was really nice compared to normal thrift stores. They did have a designer section, but nothing really stood out to me, and I really had to go to the bathroom, so I just left empty handed.
Then I headed to Brooklyn to check out the stores there. My hands were so full, so I didn't really get much footage, but check out these Lululemon Align leggings for only $19. Surprisingly, the pricing in New York was not that expensive for these stores, especially compared to what I pay back at home. Housing Works was another shop I checked out. It was really, really small. This was the only rack of dresses. I did pass on this major all dress just due to comps and price, and it was just so small I wanted to get out of there. Lastly, I did hit up one consignment store in Princeton, New Jersey on our way out. The pricing there was really, really good actually. Just look at this Layla Rose dress for only $27. Now time to sort. Here are the items I picked up. There was actually a lot of Alice and Olivia. But I picked up these two items from that brand. The blazer was one of my favorites. It had pretty good comps I was super stoked about. And y'all know I love to sell Misa, so I picked up this cutie. Lastly, I got this different Layla Rose dress, but I'll tell you why I didn't pick up the other. Now onto my passes. Like I said, I did end up passing on the first Layla Rose dress because it was tailored in. You can see this by noticing how the size tag is gone underneath by the fabric tag. I also passed on this Eye Man leather jacket just due to comps and pricing. And then this Claudia Strader, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I just wanted to look up the jacket, but it didn't turn out to be anything good. Overall, it was a very successful trip. I will definitely need more bags next time. Thanks for watching.